Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. It'll be a quick one today. Uh, today I'm going to be opening and drinking the Citra Touch of Brett by Ale Song. It is a dry hopped farmhouse ale aged in French oak barrels. I've had this in my fridge for a little bit, not too long, but uh, it was bottled in 2020, so it's about two years old now. And uh, it's uh, got a bunch of, it advertises the Britannomyces, which I've mentioned before, is one of my favorite overall uh, yeast strains. They do warn us, um, where? Ah, bottled conditioned, pour slowly. Bottled conditioned means that in the bottling process, they add the yeast, they add an extra amount of yeast and sometimes additional sugars as well into the into the uh, the bottle in order to uh, develop the the carbonation the the part of the you know one of the the off products of yeast is the um, the gases and also to allow the flavor to develop over time in the bottle itself um, a bottle conditioned beer is usually a beer that is designed to age but because it's a bottle condition we should probably actually try to minimize how much it warms up too before we pour it let's see just how much it sprays when we open it here oh yeah it wants to come out oh not too bad hmm okay so citra is the hops and they are true to name that is for certain See how this pours. Ooh, crystal clear, like a, like a light Martinelli's. Ooh, that's a that's a rich golden color. I mean, it's like you know, real gold. Real gold has that has that hint of almost red. Like you know, the whole twenty four karat gold has that hint of red, um, and this almost has that. It's it's not amber, um, but you can see. I think the color comes across pretty clearly in the camera. Um, that looks good. The head is quite uniform. It's definitely a bubbler, um, you know, like a not quite the super fine champagne bubbles, um, but it's pretty, it's still bubbling there. And the bubbles are all pretty uniform in size, especially if I, as I look up the side. <sighs> oh, I can get lost in this. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tangerine, um, jasmine flower, lemon, definitely an acidic, an acidic note. Um, what is that? Uh, like a berry acidity, like a, uh, a small like small berries you know uh, small blueberries small blackberries the wild form are usually much tartar that's the kind of acidity that it has to it maybe even some green fields yeah <laughs> have I said I like Britannomyces yeasts I'm a fan of things that ale song does this, I think this might be one of my first Ale Song videos, um, but I have drank several of their uh, barrel conditioned or barrel barrel finished, barrel aged, uh, bottle conditioned bottles, and um, they're always <laughs> they're always worthwhile drinks. This just smells of life, celebration. But. See how it tastes, eh? Ooh. Okay. Three distinct, um, at least three distinct types of flavors going on. There's a, a sharpness, uh, stone fruit, um, that, you know, peaches, not apricots, peaches, um, and it's 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 sharp, but it's not like bite sharp. It's 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 tart, not sour. 
Um, but that tartness goes away pretty quickly. And then there's this kind of um, earthy foundation, not not like a dark beer earthiness, um, more of a, a dry hay maybe. Um, and then kind of in between, like the rungs of a ladder, there is uh, like a real clean cracker, like a saltine cracker. And then there's the uh, Britannomycin, um, that, that funkiness that kind of comes through in the finish. Um, definitely hop character. There, there's hop character. Um, there's the, the Britannomyces yeast, which is your, your funkiness. There's um, this really delicious, you know, cracker malt note. And then this really nice, like, stone fruit, um, tangerine, um, Really, it's like a it's like a sharp, clean bite there of tartness at the beginning, and it's oh, that's good. This is a good beer. This is a good beer, and this is a good day to be drinking it on. This is Easter, and and on Easter, being aware of the great gift. That we've been given the gift of forgiveness and then the gift of being made right not just you know what was done in the past being forgiven but everything we do in the future it's all been made right if Christ didn't rise then what was the point of his death but he rose because of that life is definitely more worth living than it would have been had he not. <laughs> this is a beer that celebrates life. This has been Citra, Touch of Brett, by Ale Song. This is Easter, and I highly recommend this beer. It's good stuff. <laughs>